Hey everyone, and welcome to another review. This is the Omega Seamaster Professional. Here's a pretty typical Omega presentation box, and it comes in a glossy wood packaging. When you open it, you can see it's covered in a soft leatherish material and it looks very nice. The pillow is a little big, so I used the diver's extension to wrap it around the pillow. Overall, I think it's one of the better pieces of packaging, uh, even amongst brands that are more expensive than Omega's. This is going to be a little bit more of a real world review and use of the Omega Seamaster. Uh, I went on a couple day ski trip where I took the Seamaster and just went about the day's activities just to see how it would perform and how much uh, it would either get in the way or anything like that. And for the most part, I rarely noticed it on the wrist, uh, except when I needed to see the time. And even while skiing or walking around town, you could easily read the time. It was very legible and you can even see it from a distance while you're moving around pretty quickly, so there was no issues with that. And overall, it was a, just a very comfortable and enjoyable experience. I know some other people have commented that maybe the bracelet was a little harsh on the edges, but I didn't really find that to be the case. Uh, maybe it was just the size of my wrist. And here you can see a little size comparison. The Omega is a 42 millimeter case compared to the Rolex's 40 millimeters. Um, and I do think the Rolex fits a little bit better, but I think the Omega has more of a presence on the wrist. So it's a little bit more of a, it depends on what situation you would like to wear the watch in. So you can see it is a little wider and has a flatter stance and there's the Rolex and you can see that it wraps pretty nicely <clears throat> around the wrist so the Omega really isn't that much of an issue in terms of size and fit. And here you can see the Metas certified movement which has a 55 hour power reserve which is in my experience has been plenty and I haven't really had too much of an issue. You can see in the sunlight this piece really stands out with the different levels of polishing really catching light in very interesting and unique ways especially the high polished areas of the bracelet as well as the case and you can see the wave dial as well from pretty far away. One of my favorite aspects of this piece is just how versatile it is. You can dress it up and go out with friends for a few drinks and it'll look right at home. Overall, I just found this piece to be extremely fun to wear and use and enjoy on trips especially a vacation such as this i hope you enjoyed this review and i hope to see you again next time so remember to like and subscribe and thanks for watching